Hi everyone, this is example 5. A tank in the form of a frost tub of a cone having its base horizontal and axis vertical is 3 meters high. It is full of water. The top base is 2 meters in diameter and the bottom is 1 meter in diameter. The bottom contains an orifice with a coefficient of discharge constant at 0.61. What diameter of circular orifice in MM will empty the tank in 6 minutes and 30 seconds? Determine the time it takes to drop the surface by 1.9 meters from being full. And how long will it take for the surface to drop by 1.05 meters from full tank? So let's draw the figure so that we can analyze it well. So because area S is changing with the head, so formula is time equals integral of area S dh over kaotog where we have to solve for y by this extension y as to 0.5 equals y plus 3 as to 1 so y is 3 meters also then let's express x in terms of the head x as to h plus y which is 3 equals 0.5 as to 3 so that means x is 1 6 of h plus 3 x squared therefore is 1 over 36 of quantity h squared plus 6 h plus 9 and substitute into time equals 390 seconds why 390 seconds because uh, 6 minutes times 60 seconds per minute is 360 plus 30 seconds so 390 seconds integral from 0 to 3 or by x squared, this is x squared dh, or area s dh over kaotog, where c is 0.61, area of orifice is pi r square, then square root of 2j is 19.62 times h. So 390 times 36 times 0.61 times square root of 19.62 r square equals 37935.555 r square then we have integral of h square over square root of h that's h to the 3 halves integral of h to the 3 halves is h to the 5 halves or h to the 2.5 over 5 halves and five reciprocal of 5 halves is 2 fifths or 0.4 so that we have 0.4 h to the 2.5 second term is 6 h divided by square root of h is h to the 1 half so 6 eighths to the 1 half integral of 6 eighths to the 1 half is 6 eighths to the 3 halves over 3 halves then 6 times reciprocal of 3 halves is 6 times 2 thirds of 4 so 4 eighths to the 3 halves or 4 eighths to the 1.5 then 9 over square root of h or 9 eighths to the negative 1 half integral of that is 9 eighths to the 1 half over 1 half so 9 over 1 half is 18 18 h to the 1 half or 18 square root of h then from 0 to 3 substitute values so equals 0 0.4 times 3 to the 2.5 plus 4 times 3 to the 1.5 plus 18 square root of 3 minus lower limit 0 then we can now solve for r 0 0.03917 meter or 39.17 mm then times to 78.34 so that's the diameter of the orifice 78.34 mm determine the time it takes to drop the surface by 1.9 meters from being full so 3 meters minus 1.9 is is 1.1 so the lower the final head is 1.1 Initial head is 3, and this is the integral. Sorry, this is the integral. So time equals integral from 1.1 to 3 of pi h squared plus 6 h plus 9 over 36 over 0.61 pi 0 0.03917 square, square root of 19.62 h. So cancel out pi, then we compute the constant 1 over 36 divided by quantity 0 0.61 times times 0 0.03917 square times square root of 19.62 the constant is 6.70056 
then the integral is the same as that we'll just copy except for we have limits from 1.1 to 3 so time therefore is 6.70056 substitute the upper limit which is so we have 0.4 times 3 to the 2.5 plus 4 times 3 to the 1.5 plus 18 square root of 3 minus 6.70056 times lower limit 0.4 times 1.1 to the 2.5 plus 4 times 1.1 to the 1.5 plus 18 square to 1.1. So time is equal to 2 to 1.1 seconds. And finally, how long will it take for the surface to drop by 1.05 meters from full tank? So 3 minus 1.05 is 1.95. So we, say we use the same uh, results except that the lower limit should be changed to 1.95. So Time is 6.70056.4 times 3 to that. So this is the result of the integral, then limits from 1.95 to 3. So 6.70056.4 times 3 to the 2.5 plus 4 times 3 to the 1.5 plus 18 square root of 3 minus 6.70056 times 0 0.4 times 1.95 to the 2.5 plus 4 times 1.95 to the 1.5 plus 18 square root of 1.95 using the calculator time is 134.3 seconds so that's it for this problem